Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to do another TTC video. Um, I thought I would go over how cycle one went for me, for us, for my husband and I. Um, so I'm going to pull up my Ovia app here, that's what I use. Um, <laughs> Sadie. So, um, this is what it looks like, I'll just show you guys too in case you want to download it. Um, oh, let's see, let me get myself focused here. It's this yellow one up here. Um, so... This last cycle was a weird one, um, or I guess I'm still, no, I'm not in it anymore. Um, so <laughs> today is day one of my next cycle. I started my period this morning, um, which I was not expecting, um, because it wasn't due until Saturday and it's Thursday and I started this morning. So, um, that was a little weird, but I, I'm just kind of jumping into this. Um, whoa, 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 see. But basically, obviously, cycle one of trying to conceive did not work. Um, we... <laughs> we baby danced, I guess is what people call it. Um, pretty much, so on day, I don't know, anyway. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days in a row. Um, so I was fertile on, or like my peak ovulation day, what I think, that, I don't know, the day I thought I ovulated anyway was, I believe on Saturday, and we baby danced Sunday through the next Sunday. So we'd like, you would have thought that we would have been able to, um, but it just didn't happen. So anyway, yeah. And then it, I didn't really feel anything right away. And I watched a bunch of videos on like how people knew they were pregnant, like early pregnancy symptoms. Sadie, calm down. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I started watching like all these early pregnancy symptom videos and I just, the main thing I took away from it was that people generally felt something way sooner, like almost right away, um, and by right away I mean either within like the first, maybe not even the first few hours, but within the first probably 24 to 72 hours they noticed something. Um, and I really didn't have that many, if any, symptoms. I think maybe on the third day after um, I might have felt some crampiness or whatever, but I just feel stuff like that anyway. Um, I guess just like a lot it seems like, not a lot, but I don't know, everyone has, I thought, I have small like aches and pains anyway sometimes like you just don't really know <laughs> what's going on there's always something changing down there hormones going up and down like I don't know it just seemed normal to me um, some of it was probably just gas towards the end there I thought oh maybe I'm feeling something and it was just like you know I think it was more like bowel related <laughs> um, not to be gross but anyway so that was that cycle it just didn't go how I thought it would and that's okay um, but yeah, so that starts a new chance. And then the Ovia app, because I updated it saying that my period started now, um, instead of saying that like my fertile window fertile window will start later, now it's saying that it's going to start sooner. Um, it was, they do these little green blocks to say that you're in like your fertile window. Um, starting on the day that they say you're a five on a scale of 10, um, like zero to 10 or one to 10. Um, so, it was saying the 31st is the day that I would start out at a 5, but now it's saying the 29th is of January. So, anyway, um, Sadie, it's alright. I'm not sure if she wants a brother or sister. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, now um, we will start trying this last week of January slash the first week of February. Um, I'm a little nervous because I think my ovulation date should be on the 1st, and on the 2nd we're going out of town in the evening, so that will... Um, and we're not staying out of town, we're gonna, like, we're doing, like, a really long night kind of thing, um, and we're gonna be with a friend, it's not like we're gonna be, you know, baby dancing that night is kind of what I'm concerned about, but I guess it shouldn't matter if I'm ovulating on Thursday and if we're just, you know, if we still just try. Um, so, I don't know, I guess that's all I'm gonna say about that cycle. I think, um, about the days and stuff, uh, but yeah, so next time... I really want to try. I think part of our issue though, or at least part of my issue, was stress. I feel like I probably stressed out way too much and perhaps even that stress is what brought my period on two days earlier than expected. So I'm really trying to calm down. Um, I took a bath last night partially just to get warm but I'm like I might need to take baths more often. I might need to just soak, relax, read my Bible, listen to worship music, listen to just calming peaceful music and uh, maybe not worry try to eat healthy still, but maybe not worry as much about it. Um, just trying to stress. But that's, very, that's very much my nature, is to plan and to try to get everything figured out and to kind of stress. And so 
I need to work on that and try and be calm and relax and kind of just go with the flow um, and really just have fun, I guess, while doing it. I don't know. It sounds so, like, TMI-ish. I'm like, oh man, if certain people are watching this, I'm going to feel really uncomfortable. But it's just like, I don't know. I really, really want to get pregnant. I want to have a baby. I think it would be so awesome just on its own, first of all. Um, I just really want to experience that. I want to be a mom. I want to um, experience the miracle of carrying a baby, growing a baby, um, and then raising up a child. I think it'll be the most amazing thing. Um, I think there's a reason that God gave us that ability and He blesses us with that as women, the ability to carry babies, I mean hopefully. Um, so anyway, and then besides that, my sister is pregnant right now, and had I gotten pregnant this time, this last time, I would have been four months apart from her, about four months. Now it, it'll be closer to five months um, that our babies would be like, you know, or that our pregnancies would be different. Like, I'd be five months um, behind her, or she'd be five months ahead of me. But anyway, so um, I would like to get pregnant in the next couple cycles, um, either this next one or the one after that. And then if that doesn't happen, we're going to take a couple months off. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try and relax. A big thing I'm going to do though, I'm going to try and relax about everything. But one thing I am going to do is use ovulation predictors. Um, I'm going to use these single ones from the Dollar Tree this time. And basically, um, I'm going to use these. I only have two of them right now, so I'm going to pick up some more. Um, when I get close to when I think I'm ovulating, I'm going to start using these. And just trying to figure out when I ovulate and make sure that we are baby dancing on those days. I'm um, still taking my prenatals. I don't have them with me, but they're the... Um, Nature Made Prenatals Plus DHA or Prenatals Plus, whatever they're called. They have DHA in them because the other ones did not, the regular um, Nature Made Prenatals. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just using these and um, trying to conceive. <laughs> it's in God's timing and um, I just have to relax and trust God and I lift this up to Him every day because it's always on my mind and I just try to rest assured that he will work all things together for the good of those who love him and so I don't know <laughs> it's so hard um, I just uploaded a video of when I took a pregnancy test a long time ago um, and it was negative I did take one this last cycle but it was negative um, I just thought you know what for the heck of it it was a Dollar Tree one I was like I'm just going to do this for fun and uh, yeah so anyway I guess that's about it if you have any questions let me know if there's anything you want me to go over that I haven't in this video um let me know and i'll try and do that next time um, or, or my next videos so thanks for watching i think that covers everything have a great day god bless and just good luck on your journeys as well i know that it is um a crazy crazy journey and i'm praying for all of us out there who need some baby dust in our lives <laughs> so thanks again i'll see you later bye well <laughs> the top line is saying the length of your cycle in days. So my cycle is about 27 or 28 days. So I underlined the number below is saying what day to start testing. So this says to start testing on days like 10 or 11. I'll probably start testing on day 10 to be safe or maybe even day 9. And then um, test every day from there. But I think day 14 is when I will ovulate. So I'll probably just start testing on day 11 or 10 to be safe. Um, because 11 really should be early enough anyway. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Just thought I'd share that.